Hey everyone, it's me Josh, and today I'm going to be showing you my entire Funko Pop collection. Let's go. Okay, so if you've been a fan of the channel for a while now, you might know that my first ever video was me, I was like nine, and I did a Funko Pop review of the Evil Minion. And I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool, since that was my first Funko Pop, now for my um, 100 subscriber special, I could do a full collection review. Now that I have lots more in the collection, and I think it'd be a pretty cool idea if I just, you know, show you my whole collection. And it's gonna be, I'm gonna try and put a lot of Funko content into this channel. Just because it's something I'm really passionate about. And yeah, let's go. So this is my collection. And I'm going to be showing you each and every one of them individually today. So yeah, let's get right into it. Also, here's my little setup. I lied. That little beanbag chair on the floor is not going to be my setup. This is. So yeah, hope you like it. Let's get right into this. Okay, so I'm going to be going through these kind of quick guys. So if there are any figures that you'd like to have a more in-depth look at just comment and i'll see if i can get around to it so for our, the first figure i have the patina stanley this is a really cool figure it's definitely one of my favorites it's number seven in the icons line and this is like a memorial figure for the for stanley and his unfortunate passing from i think two years ago possibly or maybe it was last year i'm not sure but this is definitely one of my favorite pops, and on the back it has some information about the Hero Initiative. So let's pop this guy out of the box. And something really cool is it says Excelsior right here on the flap. And if you don't know, that is like something Stan Lee would say a lot. Sorry about the weird lighting, I'm still figuring this out. But here's the figure. It's really cool. And it's, I have, it has like the glasses and his signature sweater and stuff. And it's really cool because it's like he's a statue with like the patina paint and stuff. And he's kind of wore down a little bit. This And this is worth $6 on the Funko. According to the Funko website slash app. And so yeah, it's, it's still available. It's not that rare of a figure. But it's definitely a cool one. And I, and I recommend picking it up if you're able to. Alright, so the next figure I'm going to show you is Stephen King. It's number 43 in the Icons line. This is a cool one. I got it from my friend at school. The only unfortunate thing is that when it arrived at his house, the box was a little damaged. Here is the Stephen King figure. This is a really cool one. I like his hair a lot. And he's holding like a book or a journal or something. Because as you know, Stephen King is an author. Yeah, this figure comes out to $12 on Funko. So... Once again, not a super rare figure, but still one that is very cool to have in your collection. Also, guys, for the Stan Lee one, I got him at GameStop, and the Stephen King, my friend, had gotten it at Barnes & Noble, so I just want to tell you guys where I got these, so you have a chance of getting them, too. So, for the next figure, I have Jim Henson with Kermit, and this is another really cool one. It is number 20 in the Icons line. There's also one, a Target exclusive with him with Ernie. And I had gotten this at Target. So here's Jim Henson with Kermit. It's really cool. He's got like, I like his hair and he's holding the puppet, which is really cool. And he's, you know, he's a, if you didn't know, he created the Muppets and Sesame Street. He voiced Kermit and Ernie. So when you like listen to the two of them, you notice how similar Kermit and Ernie actually sound. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. Uh-huh. No kidding! Wow, Gladys, that's amazing! Yeah. This comes up to $9 on Funko. So, once again, not another very rare figure, but it's definitely a great one. So, the next one I'm going to show you guys is Weird Al Yankovic. And this is another really cool one. It is number 74 in the Pop Rocks line. Alright, so here's Weird Al Yankovic. He has an accordion. Um, checkered vans, I think, some jeans, and a floral shirt, because that's like his signature getup. And then, of course, his glasses, big, bulky glasses that he's also known for. I had gotten him as a gift for my birthday from my brother, 
so I'm not exactly sure where he got it. I'm guessing he got it online because it is a vaulted figure, which and that basically means they're not producing these anymore. But, and it comes out to $18 on Funko. So if you want to get this one, you're going to have to do some searching. But it's definitely a cool one, and I'd consider putting in the work to try to find it. All right, so next one is Jerry Garcia. He's number 61 in the Pop Rocks line. This is another really cool one, another Rocks. Um, a little bit of box damage, but it's okay. Other than that, it's a really, really good box. This is an interesting one, though, because if you notice, the appearance of the actual figure is different from the appearance appearance of him on the box. And I never figured out why that was. There's, I haven't seen any figures of him with like the blue shirt and the regular glasses. I've only seen figures where he has like the black shirt and the sunglasses. And there are boxes where he has the same appearance figure and box. Chris, this was a Christmas gift from my aunt and I'm not sure where she got this or you know where it shipped from but I'm guessing it was from another country because of the different box. All right, so here is Jerry Garcia. He's got the guitar and wavy gray hair with a white beard and some white shoes. And if you notice, he is missing a finger. And don't worry, it's not a broken figure or an error. Jerry Garcia actually was missing that figure. So I definitely like the attention to detail they put into this one. Comes out to $17 on Funko. And it is vaulted, but I have been able to still find it in stores. All right, so next figure I'm gonna show you, this is another really good one. I like this one a lot. It is the Rainbow Bigfoot. This is a very, very cool figure. It's number 14 in the Pop Myths line, and it is a Funko Shop exclusive, if you see that. This is my one and only Funko Shop figure, and it turns out this thing sold out in like two minutes, so I'm really glad I got the opportunity to get this figure. It isn't a protector, because it's definitely one I want to keep safe. Here is the Rainbow Bigfoot. Check this guy out. This is an extremely cool figure, in my opinion. Because like, he's got the rainbow all fading through his fur. And there have been other Bigfoot figures. This isn't the only one. They have a brown flocked one. A brown one with a, like a marshmallow on a stick. A blue and green one. A snowy one, which looks like the Abominable Snowman, it's white and blue, and it has an ice cream cone. This is the rainbow one that I got. Um, it is $25 on Funko. You might be able to get it for a good deal on like eBay or something. I like the attention to detail on the box as well, so good job, Funko. Alright, the next figure I have here is Harley Quinn from in the Black Mask Club from Birds of Prey. And this is number 303 in the Pop Heroes line. This is another cool figure I had gotten from my friend. I'm not sure where he got this. I have a feeling he got it from GameStop. Here is Harley Quinn Black Mask Club. This is a cool one. She's got like signature pink and blue hair all up in a bun. And like a silver and blue dress. She's got like tattoos on her, on her face, a heart, and some like piercings on her face and ears. And I, this is, this has a lot of attention to detail put into it. It comes on the Funko shop at around $12. This is a $12 figure on Funko. And if you take a look inside the box, it has like this holographic foil background, which is, I think it's a really cool touch. So let's get on to the next figure. All right, the next figure I have here is Harry Potter. And it's number one in the Harry Potter line, of course. And this is a cool one. It's an older figure from when they started the Harry Potter line, since it is number one. So here is Harry Potter. This is a very cool one. He's got the lightning bolt scar, some round glasses, black robe with a hood, and nice brown wand with like a sweater vest and tie underneath. This was a birthday present from Amazon. I think my grandfather, yeah, my grandfather got this for me from Amazon. Not much to say about this figure, except it is 
a cool one if you collect Harry Potter. Definitely a must-have. But this is an this comes out to nine dollars on the Funko Shop. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. Next figure I have here is another Harry Potter. It's it doesn't specify, but it's Harry Potter with the cast on his arm from when he was playing Quidditch and he got an injury. This one is from Barnes and Noble from my brother. It's a cool one. It's number 79 in the Harry Potter line. Let's take it out of the box here. Here he is. He's got, hold on, let me fix it. There. He's got that the cast on his arm, some pajamas, bare feet. Once again, lightning scar, dark hair, round glasses, you know, everything Harry Potter has to have. This is a very cool figure. It comes out to $8 on Funko. Next, let's get to the next one. All right, next figure I have is Kevin McAllister with all his snow stuff on. It's number 625 in the movies line. This is a very cool one. It's Target exclusive, so you can probably guess where I got it. Amazon, just kidding, Target. It was a cool bundle. It came with the figure and this hat. Here's the hat. It's cool, it's got like rain gear on it it's this little puff ball at the top here he is kevin McAllister. almost dropped him there as you can see he's got all the snow stuff on scarf jacket hat of course um like the little mittens hanging from some strings on his shirt green pants with some brown boots he's holding a little toothbrush that he stole it comes to 18 dollars on the funko on funko let's get on the next one Next figure I have here, here it is, it is Forrest Gump in his like military uniform, Target exclusive once again, number 789 in the movie line. Here he is, Forrest Gump, he's, yeah, and he's all in his military uniform with like the badges and the hat and stuff, throwing a peace sign, um, classic Forrest Gump hairdo, um, yeah, this is a cool one. $11 on Funko, Target exclusive. All right, not much to say about this figure. On to the next one. All right, next one is The Mandalorian from Star Wars The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. Yes, AKA the show with Baby Yoda. As you can see, there's some like creasing on the top. Some, it's pushed in a little bit on the sides and stuff. But other than that, this is a great figure. It's number 345 in the Star Wars line. I'm definitely in the market for like some of the classic blue box ones or maybe some like the black box re-releases. Here is the Mandalorian. He's got his little shotgun thing. All right, there he is. He's got like a shiny visor, swaying cape, lots of cool details on this one. And of course, the classic Star Wars stand. Um. Yeah, this is, it's also a bobblehead, which is cool. This one is from Barnes & Noble. So let's get on to the next one. One more thing, guys. I don't know if I said, this is a $19 figure on Funko. And it also has this cool Mandalorian bounty hunter symbol in the back. All right, this is the next figure I have. It is Dumbo from the new Dumbo movie by Tim Burton. It's number 512 in the Disney line. I got this one at Michael's. Here he is. Dreamland Dumbo, this is actually. And he's in like a little sitting position with all the jewelry and stuff on him. Um, but yeah, here he is. This is a cool one. Big ears, of course. A little stubby trunk. It is $9 on Funko. Let's get on to the next one. Yeah, this is a really cool one. I think you guys are going to like this one. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Shrek. Definitely one of my favorites. Because, as you might know, I am a huge fan of Shrek. Ironically and unironically. Um, this is number 278 in the movies line. It is vaulted. And let's take a look at this thing. Kind of heavy, so. Alright, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Shrek figure. Very very cool figure he's got big puffy cheeks with a big chin round nose ogre ears of course brown vest brown belt and he's got his hands on his hips just like 
Shrek should, you know. He's got nothing to lose. It is actually my most expensive figure at the moment. It is $35 for this thing. So yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of how big my collection is. It's not huge, but it's also not super tiny. Another thing, I did get this as a gift from Amazon. Not from Amazon, but it was from my grandfather who had gotten it on Amazon. Also, one more thing, when I was putting this back in the box, I accidentally put it in upside down. Hmm. Not a great service to our Lord and Savior Shrek, is it now? I will pay for my sins, don't worry. All right, next figure we have here is the Big Friendly Giant, or AKA the BFG. It's number 316 in the movies line. I had gotten this at Toys R Us before it closed. It's vaulted now, and it's $11 on Funko is it does have you know a little bit of box damage I'm not sure why I decided to pick this one up specifically when I went to Toys R Us so here it is the BFG big friendly giant it as you can see it is a rather large figure like typically with these things they're known for having bigger heads than the rest of their body but if you look at it the body might be you know like taller than the actual head big ears big nose gray hair with sandals, raggedy clothes, you know, all the stuff the BFG has in the movie and the book. It's an, it's an interesting one to have in the collection, I'll say that. Next figure I have here, it is the Lil Sweet Dr. Pepper exclusive figure. It's a very cool one, I have it in a protector. It's number 79 in the Ad Icons line. It's a cool one, it's like their there's, I guess, spokesperson they use in some of the, like, the Super Bowl commercials and stuff. Some of the more silly commercials. He's, like, a little guy with, like, red hair and stuff. And he has, of course, this can of Diet Dr. Pepper. Because you had to get two of, a, it's, like, two bottles of Dr. Pepper and then scan them in and send them to this website. And then you'd get this in the mail. And so this is a cool one. It's basically the price of two bottles of Dr. Pepper, which isn't much for a figure like this. $25 for this figure right here. It used to be more, it has fluctuated a little bit, but this is a cool one. And on the inside flap, it says, you deserve this. So here it is, a little sweet. Very cool figure with his Dr. Pepper and his long velvety red hair with a jacket and a sparkly glitter um, scarf with some gray shoes, some like, I wanna say like maroon pants. And if you look closely, his necklace is actually, his necklace is actually those little metal things on the top of a soda can. So I think that's a cool little detail. And yeah, he's holding the Dr. Pepper can, says you deserve it on, his, on it. And got like some stubble and stuff on his face, gray bandana. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. Next figure I have, it is, it's an interesting one. It's Bryce Harper from when he played on the Washington Nationals. I don't know how to feel about this one, honestly. <laughs> um, if you didn't know, if you don't follow baseball, Bryce Harper was on the Nationals. He was like one of the star players for the Nats. Um, and then just this season, he went to the Phillies. Nats fans have been calling him, like, the traitor and stuff. They've been, like, duct taping and freaking burning their Bryce Harper jerseys. Um, so this one, now they do have a Phillies one. Um, this one actually belonged to my brother. He's a huge baseball fan. Um, but he doesn't want to do, like, he doesn't want to have anything to do with this guy anymore. So he gave this to me. Um, so yeah. Here he is, Bryce Harper for the Nationals. Um, he's got like a batting helmet on with his number 34 jersey. It says Harper on the back. He's got a baseball bat. And yeah, this is an interesting figure because like the helmet is like a different type of plastic or vinyl than the actual rest of it. So um, this is ten a $10 figure. Next one. That one, guys, was number five in the MLB line. Don't know if I said that or not. But next one I have another Nationals one, Max Scherzer, pitcher for the Nats currently. 
definitely, I think, my favorite player at the moment. Um, he, um, the actual guy does have two different colored eyes, so it's cool they did one black, one blue. That's a cool detail. So, yeah, number 16 in the MLB line, $11 on Funko. Here he is, Max Scherzer, and he's got, like, a little pitcher's mound that he's on. I think that all of the pitcher figures they have have the mound. I'm not sure, though. But, yeah, this is a cool one. It's got Scherzer on the back, number 31. Um, this is their... This is their away jersey, so that's cool. Um, yeah, different colored eyes, as I said. He's got the ball, the mitt. This is a really cool figure. I like this one a lot. Um... So if you're a Nats fan, I definitely recommend that you put this one in your collection. Let's go on to the next one. Next figure I have, it is number 15 in the MLB line. Maybe it's like number 15 in the mascots line, I'm not sure. But it is Theodore Roosevelt, once again from the Nationals. If you haven't picked it up yet, I am a Nats fan. So, and I'm kind of surprised they went with Theodore Roosevelt instead of Screech the Eagle, their, like, primary mascot. Because if you didn't know, Washington Nationals have this event at the fourth inning where they have all four of the presidents on Mount Rushmore race each other. And they're all, like, you know, big mascot heads and stuff, you know. And they race, and T Teddy was definitely the fan favorite because of his losing streak. But even after all that, he's still great figure to have here he is number 26 because he is the 26th president um here he is he's got little bifocals i think um uh, mustache grin you know all the stuff that the mascot has along with the actual president here he is he is nine dollars on funko gift from my grandfather once again from amazon so yeah this is a cool one to have next one all right, the next figure I have is number eight, number 871 in the television line. It is Dwight Schrute from The Office. Here he is, Dwight Schrute, in all of his beet farming glory. He's got the classic Dwight Schrute middle part with some silver glasses, brown suit, brown pants, yellow shirt, like a mustard yellow tie, of course, He's got his belt with his little belt buckle and such. And, yeah, this is a cool one. Um, as I said, it's $15. It is a nice one to have in the collection. Next one, let's go. Also, it is also, once again, a gift from my grandfather from Amazon. So, yeah, if you're wondering where I got it, there you go. Also, here on the back flap, all the office ones have a quote. So, this one says... Nothing stresses me out, except having to seek the approval of my inferiors. Which, if you didn't know, is a Dwight Schrute quote, of course. So let's get on to the next one. Alright, my next one is another one from The Office, number 907, from the television line, Dwight Schrute as Belschnickel. If you didn't know, this is from one of the Christmas episodes, where Dwight gets chosen to do his traditional Christmas at the Schrute household, where the Christmas legend known as Belschnickel comes and he judges kids by their behavior if they've been impish or admirable. The quote on the back flap, back flap is, the Belschnickel will decide if you are impish or admirable. Comes out to, um, $13 on Funko. So, let me take this out of the box. I actually got two of these but I had sold one to one of my friends. Here he is. This is a really cool detailed figure. It's very big as well. It's got a cool black winter hat with a whip and some, I think that's like spice or like, you know, some sort of like, like, you know, broom of some sort or like a, he's got brown coat with like a, some brown fur boots and brown for skirt, I guess. This is a very cool one. It's got some dirt on his face and stuff. And, like, a fake beard on his face. Once again, great figure. On to the next one. Now, guys, I am gonna have to put this into two parts. This being the end of part one with this last figure here. Just because I've got a whole nother row I gotta go through. And this video is already getting kinda lengthy. So, 
take a look at this figure, and that'll be the end for now. Um, but here, here it is. It is number 906 in the television line. It is Michael Scott from The Office as Classy Santa. On the back flap, the quote is, Man, I worked so hard for this, and now who I end up owing this to the Scranton Strangler. Thank you. Thank you, Scranton Strangler. I love you. You just took one more person's breath away. Which, if you didn't know, the Scranton Strangler is like this... Like, I guess his murderer in the office universe in Scranton. He goes around strangling people. And so, yeah, that's just a little insider knowledge. But here he is, Michael Scott as Classy Santa. He's got red suit with a black shirt and a red Santa hat. Some black pants and some nice black shiny shoes, black hair, and big black eyebrows. You know, Michael Scott stuff. Yeah, this is a cool one. Um, this one, along with the Dwight Schrute as Belschnickel one, were both gifts from family members off of Amazon, once again. Um, these are cool ones. This one, $7 on Funko. Alright guys, so that wraps up today's video. Um, stay tuned for part two, because it will be around soon. It's just this video is getting long, and I just want to wrap it up. So... Yeah, if you enjoyed this, you know, smash like, and if you haven't already, subscribe, um, because if you like Funko, expect more content surrounding Funko Pops and such, like that. So, yeah, next video will probably be second row, and look forward to that, because I look forward to doing it for you guys. So, yeah, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later!